Welcome to another episode of Save His Family on the Block Book Club. Today we're talking about Strong on Defense by Sanford Strong. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps me keep doing this and keep bringing you this information. Thanks. On with the show. Strong on Defense is one of the landmark Cop Tells Us How It Is self-defense guides. It was published in 1996 and still highly recommended by experts today. The author, Sanford Strong, spent 20 plus years on the San Diego police force, including duties in instructing officers how to survive violent crime and violent attacks. In his career, he saw the effects of violence and he saw the effective action people took to survive what could have been deadly attacks. This focuses on specific advice about how you can recognize and respond to dangerous situations in a way that increases your survival. It provides very specific advice narrow focus on specific situations and what you can do to get out of those situations intact and get your family out. And it also couches these in terms that clearly keep the capabilities and the mindset of civilians in mind. This isn't a book by an operator for operators. This is a book by an operator for people who do not spend their lives immersed in that world, which makes it much more useful than many other books on the topic. There's even a whole section specifically on parental action what parents can do with young children in a dangerous situation, and that's also pretty rare in this genre. It also contains the first open discussion I'm aware of of crime scene number two as a concept. Now that concept's so important we're actually going to do a skills and drills video on it very soon. Strong on Defense is the first book that I'm aware of that discusses this concept in detail and goes against the conventional wisdom of complying with a criminal with a weapon who tells you to go from point A to point B. Almost everything bad about this book comes from its age. Sanford Strong worked most of his career in that period when crime was increasing from the 1960s to the, late, to the early 1990s. And so he has an almost apocalyptic vision of what happens next because he wasn't aware that crime was going to drive, drop sharply starting in the mid-90s and continuing even to this day. Another rough patch is that because it was written in the early 90s, there's no real mention of cell phones, and some of the advice is actually completely out of date because we have better communication ability now than we did in the late 80s and early 90s. And finally, and this is the worst part about the book, it's out of print. This isn't going to be on the shelf at Barnes & Noble. You have to go to Amazon or to a used bookstore or to a used book broker to get yourself a copy. The best piece of advice you're going to get out of this book is a description of what what Mr. Strong calls the four survival rules. Those rules being react immediately when in danger, resist vigorously, never go to crime scene number two, and never, never, never give up the fight to keep yourself and your family safe. Bottom line, five stars. That said, works have been built on this work. This forms the foundation for excellent books that you can get that are still in print and still available. It's a necessity for a collector or a professional, but it works as a library borrow otherwise. If you do want to get it, it retails for $30 to $50 on Amazon the last time I checked. Hey, thank you very much for tuning in today. We really appreciate your support. If you love what you saw here, please do hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you really love it, please let other people know about this channel. We're growing fast, but can always grow faster. If you have any questions or concerns, please do leave comments. We check them regularly and we'll answer any questions we can. And if we can't answer them, we'll find somebody who does know the answer. Stay safe, everybody. Bye for now.